Hey, good afternoon, everybody. This is Mike Delco, the CEO, continuously empowering others. And thank you all for jumping on my quick live stream. I think this will be incredibly short, incredibly meaning in comparison to what I normally do. Uh, I'm notorious for doing long live streams, and that's because my heart is filled with uh, excitement and joy about our incredible industry of network marketing. And so I typically jump on a stream to be as short as possible, and I start reading the comments of people that are jumping on, and you guys say such nice things, and so then I end up collaborating with you, and I start I end up putting your information out in social media as opposed to just my own information. Today will probably be a little bit different than that because I want to really get this message out as quickly as possible. So you guys, I can really honor and respect, respect your time, but at the same time, put the adequate and proper amount of uh, uh, passion into this information because I really want people to get this. I entitled the stream, What is Residual Income? And in my comments, especially on YouTube, I made a, a detailed explanation or exposition of that. Uh, I said, if you truly understood what residual income was, you would break through a brick wall to get it. And I mean it. You would literally break down a brick wall if you truly understood what residual income was all about. And so I'm going to share some information with one of my from one of my business partners just to really give you a glimpse into this phenomenon of residual income. So I, I was blessed to sponsor a gentleman back in, I think, 2014. It'll be on the slide that I'm going to show in a moment. And this gentleman got started building the business with me here in network marketing. Now, so one of the things I want to dispel before I get further into uh, this conversation is people say things that are just unfounded about our industry of network marketing. They say things like, uh, only the people at the top make the money. And I kind of get what the, where they think they're coming from. And I'll do another live stream on this later, I promise. But at the top of what? Like, what does that even mean? I know that people mean well, I think they mean well, when they say only the people at the top make the money, but I don't think they know exactly what they mean. Uh, let me see if I can grab... Let me see if I can grab some visual aid for you real quick. So, for example, I think I think they think they know what they mean, but they don't know what they mean. Okay. And excuse my little noise there. I got all kind of bells and whistles going off here. I think they think they know what they mean, but they don't really know what they mean. Okay. Here's what. Uh, here's what I want to show you. Okay, so this is what people think network marketing is. They think it's you, and then you sponsor two, and then they sponsor two, and it continues like that to infinity. Well, that's a diagram of what we all hope network marketing means. That's what they're drawing, but that's not really network marketing. If it worked like that, that would be fabulous, and everybody should really do it. <laughs> But those that are in network marketing, you know that we explain it that way because how else are you going to explain it? I mean, it would take you forever to break down all the plausible scenarios. I mean, this is you and you sponsor one guy and that guy sponsors five people. And now that doesn't look like the first example, does it? I mean, it's all over the place. I wish it did go two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four, one. 16, 32, 64. I wish it did. It never does. And then you might sponsor one person over here, and that person might sponsor 500 people. I mean, now we're marketing. It's all over the place. And that's good because that gives you tremendous potential. But people think that it's only the people at the top that make the money. So my question is, 
at the top of what? So if this is you and you join a network marketing business, what are you on the top of? Somebody type in the chat room what you're on the top of if that's you when you join the company. What are you on the top of? There's nothing down there. So on, at the top of what? I mean, it's just, I want to make sure I dig into your brain cells here so you can understand that there is no top. So let's say this is the first person to ever join the company. He or she is at the top of what? They're at the top of nothing. There's nothing down there. It's just like if somebody started a, a corporation and in their corporation, they have a big idea like Steve Jobs. This is Steve Jobs. And he's at the top of the corporation. But what's down there? Nothing. There's nothing there. Okay, so it, Steve Jobs is making all the money because he's at the top, but he's at the top of nothing. He's got to build a company. So he's going to hire senior vice presidents and he's going to hire a board of directors. He's going to have to build an organization. And then he's at the top of his organization. But if his organization doesn't sell the product, they're all on the top of nothing. Likewise, in a network marketing business, this is you. And if that's the first person to join the company, you're not excited about that person because they're at the top of nothing. There's nothing here. And if that person goes out and sponsors Joe, yeah, that person is at the top of Joe. But who's going to make the most money, that person or Joe? You don't know because it matters who works the hardest, just like, the, just like Steve Jobs. So is Joe going to outwork you or are you going to outwork Joe? Well, you for you to outwork Joe, you got to sponsor another person and another person and another person and another person, and you might out-earn Joe. And so in this regard, you will out-earn Joe, and you are at the top in this network with Joe in it, and you're going to out-earn Joe because Joe hasn't done anything. But if Joe catches on fire and Joe outbuilds you, Joe's going to out-earn you because Joe's got a bigger dual-team organization than you do. You're going to make some money override on Joe, which you should because you brought Joe in, but Joe's going to out-earn you because he's outworking you. And this person is at the top, but Joe is not at the top, and Joe is out-earning you, and you're at the top. So, no, the people at the top don't make the money unless the people at the top happen to be the people that are doing the most work. That's the first part. Oh, man, that was good. So anyway, you've got to build it. It's called a meritocracy. You eat what you kill. You earn what you work for. But this industry of networking, that's not a, that's not a person at the top making all the money. It's the person that, that works the hardest makes the money. So anyway, long story short, I know, white boy, right, Daryl Matthews? So long story short, when we got in this business of carrot bars, um, I sponsored this amazing gentleman. Now, nobody gets sad with me. Let's just work together to help me get through this. But I sponsored this amazing gentleman named Johnny Price. And you guys heard me say something about him the other day. And Johnny, amazing. I love you, brother. And Johnny got started with me. Uh, let's see, on this next slide here, Johnny got started with me, and you can see it right there on January on J June 16th, 2014. We're a European-based company, and so the date is backwards. So you can see M. Dalco, that's me, personally sponsored. Johnny's personally sponsored 20 people. And so that's Johnny, and he joined on 16-6. That's the 16th day of the sixth month, 2014. And you can see that though Johnny sponsored 20 people, which is amazing, the average person only sponsors two people in the life of their network marketing business, two and a half people. Johnny's built a team. He personally sponsored 20. And his team grew to over 26,000 people. Now, folks, this is what's amazing. Last week, Johnny Price died. I think it was last Monday. Broke my heart. He died. He had 25,089 people. Now he has 26,021 people. The team grew. 
It was like 25,890 some people. So the team grew to over 50 people in a week and Johnny's departed this earth for a week now. And here's what's so cool. As you look at that organization and you see Johnny was a VIP and literally in our organization, we received something called matching bonuses. And a matching bonus is when you've personally sponsored someone through multiple generations of sponsorship, when people within your organization get paid, you get a dual team matching payout. So if you look right here, there's a matching bonus that Johnny just earned on today's date, 6-8-2020, six years after he joined the company, one full week after Johnny's deceased, his business still earned $100 today. And it's going to keep making money. It's going to make money for the life of this project. He still got paid, Sondell, and he's no longer here on this in this realm with us. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the truest definition of network marketing. So get back with the person that shared this live stream with you. I know there's a lot of people that say positive things about our industry because they're having success and they love it. I know that there are people that say negative things about this industry because maybe they failed before or they've heard negative things. I literally just showed you in real time one of the main reasons why you need to be in this industry is because once you build it, it's built and it's gonna continue to generate residual income. And I love what my golden sister said right there. I'm gonna put it on the screen. A job will never do that. This is Mike Dalco, the CEO, continuously empowering others. You guys have a great day, and we'll see you on the next stream.